It is 8.30, and I'd like to call this Land, Water, and Forest Resources Committee meeting to order, please. Uh, will clerk have roll call, please? Ed Peters. Here. Mark Helwig. Here. Kay Wilson. Here. Brian Bizonette. Here. Jason Weaver. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, the, to flag the flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Item number four, certification of compliance with open meetings law. This meeting has been noticed to the public and news media as required by section 19.84 of the Wisconsin statutes. Okay, let's see, the um, agenda has been set. Um, anyone for public comment? No public comments, okay, we'll move on. Uh, Number six, uh, consider approval of minutes from previous meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting in November. Okay. okay. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes from the previous meeting. Are there any, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Item number seven, register of deeds update, monthly report. We have a, get to it. Report of um, transfer fees and so forth. Are there any questions or any comments? Yeah, does Paula have anything she wants to add? Uh -huh. No, not to add. I just want to see if anybody has anything. Okay. Well, we'll accept the report as presented. Thank you very much. Um, moving on. Uh, events, discussion, and possible action. Uh, yes, we have uh, one event. We have the Sealy Big Fat uh, Mountain Bike Race on January 20th. Um, uh, so this is the first month I decided to include uh, all the race information, and we had a last-minute change of the course uh, right at the end. But uh, uh, Jerry Wright's here for the event if, if you have any questions <clears throat> for him. But uh, the new course is uh, located all in the uh, the Sealy Hills trail system that's, <laughs> that's shown on that map. So they uh, eliminated a, a, a bunch of uh, snowmobile trail crossings and just went with a two loop system so okay any any questions about that or and we would be approving these two events separately or can we do them i think you can approve them together it's, put them together yeah make a motion to approve i'll second that okay it's been Moved and seconded to approve the Sealy Big Fat Long Course and Short Course. Any uh, other discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Uh, the application is standard, I assume? That's correct. Um, number nine, <clears throat> um, wake, well, it, it possibly should be wake enhancement discussion update, but uh, they use wake boards with wake boats to be, ride big wakes. So I guess we're safe there. Um, there has been, um, according to 
what I've found in the in various news releases, uh, some continuation of the uh, the bill that we originally tried to, shall we say, have some problems with is uh, is moving ahead into uh, into hearings in Madison, but there is an alternative bill. Um, <clears throat> I've received from a number of different sources uh, quite a bit of information about uh, impacts of of wake enhanced wakes on lakes. And um, as far as I can see, our resolution that we put forward with the depth restriction is probably the most important lacking thing in either or any of the bills that are being produced in, uh, in the uh, legislature right now. Um, the distance from shore is important for shoreline erosion, but the depth of the water is also important because the way the boats move through the water, they actually are churning up the substrate on the bottom of lakes. And uh, that can be very detrimental from releasing nutrients back into the water and also destroying habitat for uh, organisms that form the food for fish. And um, so I'm concerned about what, if there's anything we should do going forward. Maybe I'll just add, I, since we passed the resolution, I've been trying to just keep track of what's happening. So if anybody follows these things, uh, it has been introduced. It was reintroduced after our committee meeting last month. Um, it's Assembly Bill 656 and Senate Bill 680, uh, joint sponsorship. Uh, both have been assigned to committee uh, in the House, in the Assembly and the Senate. So the Assembly, or excuse me, Senate bill has been assigned to the Committee on Financial Institutions and Sporting Heritage. And then uh, the other ones in the uh, Assembly has been assigned to the Committee on Forestry Parks and Outdoor Recreation. I believe uh, Representative Swearingen and Senator Falkowski, two of the sponsors, did hold a public hearing or a meeting in uh, Ryan, or Eagle River last month mm -hmm. and took some public comment, mm -hmm. but um, they, from what I've read, they've indicated that this is their starting point, but the, the bill as written prohibits uh, operation of a motor port on a lake that is uh, less than 50 acres or less, prohibits wake surfing and wakeboarding on a body of water 50 acres or less that is less than 400 feet wide, and then it prohibits wake surfing or wakeboarding within 200 feet of a shoreline or dock, which I believe is one of the um, one of the standards that uh, is not as restrictive as what's been passed locally. So, but at this point they're in committee and they'll be holding hearings down to Madison at some point. Do they still have uh, that? Do they still have that the uh, counties don't have any regulation? Uh, the towns. The, the towns, towns don't have any regulation. They still have that in the bill. They still have that? Yep. Mr. Chairman, wasn't that part of our um, resolution, though, that we they include the towns in any regulatory yes. or yes. authority on this? Yes. Good. So our, our resolution actually goes farther than, than the uh, uh, bill that, was, that we were responding to. Subsequent to that, there has been another bill introduced uh, by uh, Representative Jacques from uh, the uh, Green Bay area, which is uh, which takes care of the towns, uh, the restriction on towns, uh, and also uh, provides for a more a wider area from shore for operating these these craft. And but uh, still nothing about what ha what's happening under the water, and um, I think if 
if we had this on on different bodies of water, particularly, I think there's plenty of open water on the Chippewa flowage, but it's all most of it is less than 30 feet deep. And in those conditions, I think we would have serious problems with uh, churning up the substrate and um, causing probably algae blooms of incredible proportions. I would say it would be quite similar to using a rototiller to go across a putting green. So um, that might be a... Mr. Chairman, yeah. do you know if other counties have sent resolutions similar to ours in uh, contest to this? My understanding is we, we are, our resolution uh, is probably the only resolution that's been sent in, but there have been uh, other responses from other counties, including uh, Burnett and uh, Washburn County, and I think, I think Bayfield County also. Have we, Madam Clerk, have we circulated our resolution to other counties to look at, or I know because we get resolutions from other counties, they want us to yeah, chime I mean, in with them. I think we should do that. I know we, I received one from another county oh, you did. that was circulated. I can't remember which county it was. I think I forwarded it to Andy, but I, I know I was not given direction to circulate it okay. to the county. And as long, Chairman, as long as we got Brian on and Jason here, has the tribe put anything together opposing this as well? Can you comment, Brian? So I met with the Tribal Governing Board last week on the, or a couple weeks ago on this issue. Um, the bill, and I think it was, what was it, 6680? Um, anyway, the, the, uh, the one with the 200 foot, uh, setback, um, the, uh, you know, from what I read in the bill, it looks like they're trying to uh, put state regulations at like a one size fit all, which doesn't work, especially. And I'm glad Ed brought up the Chupa Flowage. The Chupa Flowage is the exact example of why this one size fits all. The tribe has uh, put, mil uh, put a, a significant amount of money in um, mitigation measures for erosion. And, um, you know, it is a body that a body of water that's quite shallow. And so there's a lot of concerns there, um, on that. Now, uh, it was my understanding that, yeah, the guy from Green Bay introduced it in this proposed bill was getting circulated amongst committee. Um, it hasn't taken, it hasn't been a, uh, assigned a, num a bill number yet. Um, I could be mistaken on that. It's been a couple of days since I looked at it. Um, but uh, the the other problem is, you know, they're t basically taking away the town's rights to be more restrictive. And so that's an issue. Um, and so I actually received a phone call from Bass Lake residents requesting the tribe to, to, uh, take a stand on this as well and and uh send a letter to the governor in opposition of the 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 bill introduced by by the two individuals the lady and the guy i can't remember the their name is so um i the, nothing has been uh nothing's been wrote down yet um but i would assume that the tribe is going to uh, look for the 700 foot setback. Uh, you know, support the towns having a say in it, and uh, and so that's probably the update that I have. Yes, the the one by um, Representative Jocks is is still at the Legislative Reference Bureau or Board, uh, and so it's not. It hasn't been assigned a number yet, but um, I guess, does the committee think that it would be a good idea to um, circulate 
the um, this our resolution to the uh, to the other counties. I think it would be an excellent idea with a cover letter to encourage them to do the same. I agree. Who would like to draft that letter? <laughs> yeah. I well, okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh does that require a we need a motion? motion. Okay. I'll make a motion to uh have a letter drafted to other counties to encourage them to uh, do a similar resolution to our uh, wake enhancement resolution that we approved previously. Second. Second. Second that. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to uh, circulate the resolution from our November board, well, from our November land, water, and forest resources meeting, and then also from the county board to other counties in the state. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's kind of like a thing that just won't go away, I suppose, is what it is. Okay, land records and county surveyor report. Any questions or comments? So Chris, the county surveyor, and Kimberly went, you know, submit their reports here. Um, you know, we've been busy with uh, uh, preparing tax bills. They're mostly um, mostly done by now. Mm -hmm. uh, no real, no real problems. You know, a printer, a printer maintenance package or two um, kind of came up, but other than that, everything printed out okay. Aside from uh, what are on these reports. Um, I've got a report a bit. So, um, we've got an interactive mapping website. Um, currently it's been around for a while now. Um, it's been the same website and the company that provides our website is getting out of, uh, the business. So, um, I'm not sure how many counties in Wisconsin, have an ADC website, but it's like, it's a good handful. And um, the users of our website know that they can go to the uh, same sort of website in Washburn County or Russ County, you know, and get and do the same thing. You know, what they've learned to, you know, interactive mapping website takes is a learning curve. And so when you know one, it's nice that the other ones are the same. So um, we stayed with the group and moved to a company called Schneider GIS. Um, the, the company that we were with, ADC, kind of, you know, sold their client base to this new company. So we were all like, oh, let's, you know, follow what's happening and, and go with that. They gave us a good price for a few years. Um, so if anything... You know, if this company doesn't work out, we're really not losing out a whole lot. It's, you know, a, a really good price to keep going with it. And um, so right now we're reviewing that. We have a website um, that is mostly ready to be published live. So we're looking to switch over soon. Um, I've released, you know, the URL to this to a few uh, different uh, departments to get their take on the new website. And we'll hope to kind of publish, you know, something on our website to say, you know, to let our users know what's happening. Um, also, just as part of this whole thing, um, you know, these Wisconsin counties get together and we talk via email about, you know, our, our, our gripes about, you know, uh, the changes happening. I think we all really like the old website and we're all kind of skeptical about the new website. 
Um, so we're, we've put together a, a list as, as a group and we're going to be meeting with Schneider as a group as well on, on a number of our issues. So we're working through it. I, I think we're, we're doing the right thing. Um, you know, working together as a group, um, again, when the users, uh, know how to use one website, they can go to the other adjoining counties and know how to use those websites. We're staying with that. Um, not all of the ADC, uh, <clears throat> customers went with Schneider GIS. So there's, there's less. And over the, you know, the next year, year or two or three, um, you know, maybe some more will splinter off and maybe we will too. So that's kind of where we're sitting at right now with the interactive mapping website. Aside from that, we still have the Novus uh, tabular website that still functions the same. That's not going anywhere anytime soon. And, you know, the two kind of talk together. So we're making sure that that stays that way. Um, Schneider GIS has this, you know, tabular view but we're, you know, we're trying to make sure that all the, the links go straight to our Novus website since that's where we update our data and that's, you know, where we want to want our users to spend their time. Um, so I have a link if anybody wants to view this uh, new beta website and give me any input, I can send it out if you are asking if you want to see it. Aside from that website, uh, this, this uh, past year, um, uh, Health and Human Services has been working on building a new um, department website. Uh, and they've been doing that on our ArcGIS online software. There's a component called ArcGIS Hub. And, uh, you know, they've, they've spent a lot of time developing a new website based on that. And that is supported by our ArcGIS licensing um, that gets paid every year. So that's gone live, I believe. And um, software still. So uh, the dispatch center and, you know, I think jail and some others use a, uh, a software package made by a company called Spillman. They're up doing some updates next year. And we've had a meeting recently to, uh, you know, make sure we're all on top of that. So, um, the GIS component of that software is on track to be updated next year just fine. So, <clears throat> thank you. Any questions? Please send that link out to us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can. I can send that link to you. Yeah, I'd appreciate seeing what that looks okay. like, too. All right. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay. Um, moving on to um, item number 11, uh, recreational trails report. No. Chris Traylon Newman for Kathy LaRue. Uh, right now we're pretty much just transitioning from ATV to snowmobile. Uh, we have our trails brushed and ready to go. We're excited because we um, are receiving a couple new pieces of equipment, of course, with a little bit of a loan on those. So two of our clubs will be receiving um, two new pieces of grooming equipment. Um, and I guess we're working on our uh, grants trails rehab that we're going to be putting in in april so that's about all okay thank you just need snow huh? just need snow <laughs> and a little ice two more ice <clears throat> jerry right with cam but we haven't given you guys a report in a long time so it's probably about time i told you what's going on um we're two days away right now just tomorrow tomorrow is the one year anniversary of that december 14 ice storm last year which really shut down a lot of trails we have a number of winter only trails that we only use in the winter time. And finally I got around to getting all those cleared up about sometime last week. Um, there was a bunch of logging in the Sealy Hills area. We were able to resurrect a bunch of those trails, enough of those trails so that we could move our fat bike race back there. Thank you for approving our permit. Um, we're 
developing new maps and I put out a whole bunch of new signposts. So we're getting the signage ready for the new trail systems the way they're set up this year. Thanks. I got a question, Jerry, if you oh, step. Yes. Jerry, what are the conditions of the trails? Because we've had very little snow and some cold weather now. So I would see that they're, they're all are they too good. icy to ride or are they pretty oh, safe right now? No, the, the trails are safe right now. There's ice on some roads, but the trails themselves have almost no icy spots. Um, we did have a little bit of freeze thaw going on where the very surface of the trail tread was breaking up because it would freeze a little bit, then it would thaw, and then it would freeze again. Uh, we seem to be through that, although we've got rain coming up in a few days, so I don't know what's going to happen this weekend. But they've been holding up. Anything else? What, yep. What is the... Um... What tire pressure do you recommend right now on these trails? <laughs> <laughs> Tweed, Tweed wants to go off for a ride. So he wants to know. I've been running six to seven PSI on four inch tires, four to five, four to four and a half inch tires. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now I know why the chairman came to this. Uh, thank you. Uh, County Forestry Report. Okay, uh, for month of November, we had 20 sales listed as active. Uh, we still have a very high level of activity despite some uh, market concerns right now. Uh, sales uh, inactive are at 76. Our timber sale value sold and uncut on file is just a little over 4.8 million. Uh, sale revenue for the month was 187,000. So our year-to-date timber sale revenue is just over 2.3 million. Uh, so we are have exceeded our, our our revenue budget for the year, and we should have a, a pretty good chunk coming in yet before the end of the year. So uh, hopefully our our uh, activity stays stays high to to get through the winter here and give us a boost for next year already. So uh, sale inspections are on target for the level of activity. Uh, we did have some tracks turned in uh, for review. Uh, recon, we have hit our goal for the recon updates for the year. Uh, we are still uh, working on our, our good neighbor authority contract that should be wrapping up shortly. And I will be uh, preparing our reimbursement uh, request here this month. And uh, we will likely be uh, talking about next year's contract uh, shortly as well. Uh, nothing new to report for Oak Wilt or trails uh, other than uh, our Trail 5 rehab project started uh, just before deer season. Uh, that's a 7.2 mile rehab uh, in the Blaisdale uh, Fish Trap Lake area. Uh, hopefully, a uh, contractor will finish this up before the end of the year, but he does have an additional year to uh, complete the project. So. Uh, that's going on. Uh, nothing uh, new to report on the park or carbon credit right now. So that's all hey. I have unless there's questions. I guess with the uh, when the colder weather hit, I did notice quite a bit more activity early in the morning on uh, County Highway M going past my house oh, so. yeah. <laughs> uh, both directions so I, I'm assuming there's some activity down there towards towards the flambeau or yep yep those uh, probably not our sales but uh, everybody's uh, there's a lot of activity right now even with the freeze up I mean we had a good dry summer and then we've had kind of an early freeze up so uh, things are moving pretty well Okay, any questions for I do, Andy? Where do we put this surplus in revenue from timber sales? It goes into the general fund. Okay. It does it doesn't get segregated. Okay. Um so moving on to letter C. The um, county gravel pit siting on county land. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if uh, I can I can start this one. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, we had a request um, from a highway department. Actually, this goes back a couple years. Uh, they they wanted to do some exploratory digs um, behind uh, the the private pits off of seventy seven in the pit road area. Um, and they determined that there was uh, uh, some pretty good material there. 
Um, and so we are re- requesting a, a development of a, of a county pit on county forest. Um, so the process for this, um, the committee can approve the pit or the, the, the starting of the, this pit process. Um, the, the final decisions would be made through the, the zoning, zoning department permit for a, a non-metallic mine. Um, so that's where we sit right now. Uh, we have a 40 acre parcel uh, mm-hmm. identified on the attached maps to your packets. Um, from the forestry standpoint, I mean, we're in favor of, of this pit. We, we have, we struggle with gravel on all of our trail projects. Um, gravel is in short supply. Um, so, so my two cents, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a good project. And I, I think the county desperately needs a supply of gravel at this point. Okay. So do we need to approve this to go on to zoning or yeah the approval is to uh, essentially uh, yeah approve the pursuit of establishing a um, non-metallic mine on the county forest land we have it on the public works agenda for tonight so the you know they're there we see the highway committee for their approval and then that would give uh greg and john the ability to move it ahead to the zoning we have to put together an operational plan and a um, reclamation plan okay. All the things a uh, private mm-hmm. operator have to do, and then has to go to the zoning committee for approval and a hearing. Okay, so we don't need to act. All you're doing is an approving the establishment of a non-metallic mine. Okay. On the county forest. We don't need to do anything else to remove it from the county forest, or we just want the, the well, to one, to inform the committee that this is what we're doing, and then to get your uh, a motion to approve it so it can move ahead to the zoning committee. So, do Mr. Have Chairman, any- there is a licensing agreement that would have to be uh, uh, forwarded to the town around Lake as yep, well. Yep, we've already. So, when Greg and John and I met with uh, zoning staff, um, they already forwarded a, a message to I can't remember, Ralph. Yep, so he's aware, and that yeah, we have to go through. Brown Lake has their own licensing process as well that we'll have to go through. Okay. So make the motion to approve the development of a um, gravel gravel pit on county forest land. So, do we have a second? We have a motion. Do we have a second? A second that. Okay. Been moved and seconded uh, that we uh, go ahead with this proposal to site uh, for development of a gravel pit on county forest land. Um, discussion. Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. Um, DNR Forestry Report. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm David Totus. I'm filling in for Brody today. He's on annual leave. It's T-O-D-U-S. So Brody didn't have any formal report for you this month or for the previous month, but he just wanted to say that uh, continues to work on his timber sale establishment, finalizing what uh, a number of us were um, working on this fall um, and continues to, as being relatively new, familiarizing himself with other areas of the county forest. And that's all we have. Okay, thank you. Moving on to uh, zoning conservation department report. Uh, we have a uh, printed report. Any other comments?
<clears throat> Seeing none, I guess we'll just move on to uh, USDA report. We have that before us. Um, guess we don't have any um, update on uh, in addition uh, from uh, Farm Service on uh, someone to be on the committee to replace Kevin. I guess the only other thing is I, from my recollection from earlier this year that um, a deadline for um, payments or for requesting payments uh, would be coming up very soon. I think the 21st of uh, December and um, but nothing different. So um, LCO report, Brian or uh, good morning again. Um, the only thing notable, I think, I mean, we're most of my staff is getting ready for for winter. Um, you know, we're getting all of our equipment in the storage, et cetera. Uh, we do have a, a, a fairly good sized uh, 40 acre habitat improvement program that or project that we've uh, that we started uh, within the last couple weeks, and so. Um, Outside of that, it's uh, I don't really have anything to report. Hey, okay, thank you. I guess uh, that concludes the uh, zoning and conservation report. Um, future agenda items or Anything on the uh, possibilities that we should be looking forward to? I guess we'll, because of my interest in the area, I guess I'll keep on watching things uh, with regard to wake enhancement uh, and um, things like that. And, um, Hopefully, we can get something that's going to be not too detrimental to our um, the base, one of the major bases of our economy here in northern Wisconsin. So, um, is there anything in terms of correspondence, reports from conferences or meetings? Hearing none, we are adjourned. <laughs>